Welcome, gentlemen, to the Masculine Energy Motivation Channel. We're all about fueling your growth, molding your resilience, and sparking that inner fire to help you become the best version of yourself. At the heart of our mission is the belief every man carries within him the potential for greatness. However, this potential doesn't just magically manifest. It's like a diamond in the rough that needs to be chiseled, polished, and Tony Robbins once said, the only impossible journey is the one you never begin. And that's the sentiment we want to bring to the forefront of your mind. The beauty of self-improvement lies in the journey, not just the destination. Our focus today is on self-improvement strategies for men. We'll delve into the significance of constantly evolving, of pushing your boundaries and of relentlessly pursuing personal and professional excellence. From embracing change to setting clear goals, cultivating positive habits and seeking continuous learning, we'll explore how you can effectively navigate your journey of self-improvement. Today, you'll discover practical strategies to enhance your journey of self-improvement, guided by the wisdom of Tony Robbins. First and foremost, embrace change. As the tides ebb and flow, so does the course of our lives. Change, my friends, is inevitable, yet many of us fear it. We cling to the familiar, the comfort of our routines, but in doing so, we risk stagnation. David Goggins, a man who epitomizes the power of change, once said, you are in danger of living a life so comfortable and soft that you will die without ever realizing your true potential. The truth in these words is inescapable. Now, imagine a butterfly for a moment. It starts its life as a caterpillar, crawling on the ground, limited by its own form. Then it spins a cocoon, a period of transition, of change. And when it emerges, it's transformed into something far than it was before. It spreads its wings and takes flight, reaching heights it could never have imagined as a caterpillar. This is the power of change. It allows us to evolve, to grow, to become better versions of ourselves. Consider the great inventors and innovators of our time. They didn't achieve success by maintaining the status quo. No, they embraced change. They accepted the challenge posed by Goggins' quote. They dared to the norms to think differently, to venture into the unknown, and in doing so, they transformed our world. Let's take, for example, the story of Sir Edmund Hillary, the first man to Mount Everest. He was an ordinary beekeeper from New Zealand who dared to dream big. He faced countless challenges and setbacks, but he didn't let that deter him. Instead, he embraced the changes, adapted, learned and persevered. And because of that, he was able to achieve what was once thought impossible. Change can be challenging. It can be uncomfortable. It can push us out of our comfort zones and force us to confront our fears. But it is through these trials that we grow stronger, wiser and more resilient. So don't fear change. Embrace it. Welcome it as an opportunity for growth, for improvement, for transformation. is not something to be feared, but rather something to be celebrated. It is a catalyst for progress, a stepping stone to greatness. It's a way to fulfill your true potential. Remember the butterfly, the inventors, Sir Edmund Hillary and David Goggins. They didn't fear change, they embraced it. And look at what they were able to achieve. Gentlemen, remember, change is the only constant in life. Embrace it. Secondly, set clear and achievable goals. Now, why is this so important? As Jordan Peterson wisely stated, you must determine where you're going so that you can bargain for yourself so that you don't end up resentful, vengeful and cruel. Picture a ship sailing out to sea without a destination in mind. It's likely to end up adrift at the mercy of the currents and the wind. This is a reflection of what life can feel like without goals. They function as our compass, our guiding star, offering a sense of direction and motivation. Let's delve deeper into this concept. Goals are not just about what you want to achieve, they're about who you want to become in the process. They're about personal growth, about stepping out of your comfort zone and pushing your boundaries. They're about taking command of your life and molding it in the way you desire. But setting goals is not just about jotting down a wish list. It's about being specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound. This concept is often referred to as SMART goals. Let's decipher what that means. Being specific means clearly defining what you want to achieve. Avoid ambiguous goals like, 
I want to be, instead make it specific like, I want to become a best-selling author. Measurable goals are those you can track. If your goal is to read more books, set a number, say, I want to read 20 books this year. This way, you can measure your progress. Goals should be achievable. Setting unrealistically high goals can lead to disappointment and demotivation. Choose goals that stretch you but are still within your reach. Relevant goals align with your long-term plans and values. If your ultimate goal is to have a fit body, then running a marathon is more relevant than learning to play a musical instrument. Finally, goals should be time-bound. Give yourself a deadline. It creates a sense of urgency and keeps you committed. With these smart goal-setting principles, you'll find yourself with a roadmap to your desired future. A future where you are the master of your fate, the captain of your soul. With clear goals in mind, you will find direction and purpose. Thirdly, cultivate positive habits. The path to self-improvement is often a winding one filled with many twists and turns. Yet the secret to navigating this path successfully lies in the cultivation of positive habits. As Jocko Willink, a retired US Navy SEAL and accomplished leadership instructor once said, discipline equals freedom. This quote underlines the significance of daily habits, which may seem insignificant, but are the building blocks of our lives. These habits are the foundation of our success and play an instrumental role in our journey of self-improvement. Think about it, a ship doesn't change its course with a sudden sharp turn. It does so by making minor adjustments, degree by degree over time. Similarly, our lives don't change overnight. They evolve gradually through the consistent practice of positive habits. So, what constitutes a positive habit? Well, Positive habits are those that contribute to your personal growth and well-being. They are the actions that, when practiced regularly, pave the way for a brighter future. Let's delve into a few examples, shall we? Firstly, reading. Reading broadens your horizons and offers a wealth of knowledge at your fingertips. It sharpens your mind and opens up new worlds of understanding. Make it a habit to read daily, even if it's just for a few minutes. Next, exercising. As Jocko Willink suggests, discipline in maintaining physical fitness is not just about looking good. It's about feeling good and attaining freedom from health issues. Regular exercise boosts your mood, improves your health and cultivates a sense of discipline. Whether it's a brisk walk, a gym workout or a yoga session, find an exercise routine that you can stick to. Lastly, meditating. In the hustle and bustle of life, Taking a moment to pause and reflect is vital. Meditation helps you to stay grounded, reduces stress and improves your focus. Even a few minutes of daily meditation can have profound effects on your mental well-being. In conclusion, cultivating positive habits is like planting a seed. It might not seem like much at first, but with time and consistent effort, it will grow into a strong, flourishing tree. As with any garden, the more seeds you plant, the richer the harvest. And as Jocko Willink so aptly put it, discipline equals remember your habits determine your future. Lastly, seek continuous learning. As we traverse deeper into the maze of self-improvement, we find ourselves in front of the magnificent library of wisdom. This isn't the end point, but an ongoing expedition that stretches across our lifespan. It is the quest of lifelong learning. You may ask, why is this vital? Consider mind as a garden. The more seeds you plant, the more bountiful the yield. Every new fragment of knowledge, every unique thought, every fresh viewpoint is a seed that can burgeon into a tree of comprehension. What's the fruit of this tree? Success, self-enhancement, broadening of your horizons. As Eliot Hulse said, the world is changing very fast. Big will not beat small anymore. It will be the fast beating. That the world is a huge and ceaselessly transforming tapestry, stitched with strands of novel findings and understandings. Each day, fresh pages are added to the annals of human failing to keep up. You're lagging behind. Stagnation, dear friends, is the adversary of growth. But how do we embark on this journey of incessant learning? There are innumerable paths, each as unique as individual treading on it. Some might discover wisdom in the leaves of a good book, Others might pursue it in academic corridors, attending seminars, or enrolling in courses. This digital age, the realm of knowledge, is literally at our fingertips. 
Online courses, webinars, podcasts, and articles are a click away. Let's also remember the might of conversation, engaging with others, exchanging ideas, challenging our own beliefs. All these are crucial aspects of the learning process. Bear in mind, learning isn't a race, it's a marathon. It's not about stuffing as much data into your brain as possible. It's about comprehension, viewing the world through varied lenses, broadening your mind and your perspective. So equip yourself with curiosity, energize yourself with passion and set off on this lifelong quest. Plunge into the ocean of knowledge and let its waves carry you to the shore's wisdom. And remember, it's not just about gaining knowledge, it's about utilizing that knowledge to enhance, to evolve, to become the best version of yourself. Gentlemen, never cease to learn, for the world never ceases to teach. In conclusion, gentlemen, self-improvement is a lifelong journey. As Tony Robbins once said, the path to success is to take massive, determined action. This quote truly resonates with our exploration today. We've delved into the crucial steps that pave the way to becoming your best self. Embracing change, as we've seen, is not just about accepting the inevitable, but actively seeking it out, using it as fuel to ignite your personal growth. Setting clear, tangible goals is the compass that guides you on this path of massive, determined action. These goals give direction and purpose, helping you navigate through the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Cultivating positive habits is the vessel that carries you forward, creating a stable foundation for growth and improvement. And finally, the thirst for continuous learning is what keeps the journey interesting and fulfilling. It's about constantly pushing the boundaries of your comfort zone, expanding your knowledge and skills, and embracing the wisdom that comes with every new experience. Thank you for joining us today, the Masculine Energy Motivation Channel. Remember to take massive, determined action towards your self-improvement journey. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insightful videos. Until next time, keep improving and become the best version of yourself.